And so far, of course, no confirmed coronavirus cases in West Virginia. But tonight, Kentucky and Ohio have confirmed a combined four more cases. And it's likely only a matter of time when the Mountain State will have its first case. 13 News reporter Haley Kosick joins us now in the studio with new measures that state agencies are taking. Haley. Robin Jennifer, three cases are currently under investigation by the West Virginia Department of Health and Human Resources. And nine total cases have come back negative, thankfully. And while there are no positive cases confirmed yet in the state, Governor Jim Justice says he suspects the first positive case to emerge soon. You have to entrust that our medical professionals, our school professionals, our athletic professionals, they're not asleep at the switch and they're working. Earlier today, Governor Jim Justice and state officials issued a state employee travel ban, suspended the state basketball tournament and requested state nursing homes to restrict visitations. Schools around the state are taking their own measures in preventing the possibility of spreading the virus. Cabell County Schools announced today they are postponing all county band and choir concerts for the time being. The West Virginia Hospital Association released a statement earlier addressing its preparedness, saying West Virginia hospitals and health systems are closely monitoring developments related to the coronavirus and are working diligently with state and federal agencies to educate and train their staffs to prepare for the possibility of cases in West Virginia. Boone Memorial Hospital released a video with practices everyone should follow on YouTube. The first tip is you should try and avoid close contact with anybody that's sick. What I mean by close contact is you want to try to stay at least six feet away from people, especially anyone that shows signs of illness. Health experts reassure that evidence shows the risk of the coronavirus is still low for West Virginians. Despite that, the Charleston Coliseum and Convention Center, along with the Municipal Auditorium, canceled all events with more than 250 people in the next 30 days. A home and garden show at the Mountain Health Arena in Huntington scheduled for this weekend has also been canceled. Now tomorrow, Governor Jim Justice will hold another press briefing on the COVID-19 state response at 11 a.m. We will live stream that update on our website, WWKTV.com. Reporting in the studio, I'm Haley Kosick for 13 News, working for you. Haley, thanks. The West